So the first approach to computing importances uh, of the web pages uh, in a big web graph is called page rank. So what we will do now is we will come up with the first mathematical formulation of page rank. We will first talk about it intuitively, then we'll mathematically formalize it. We will then talk also about how to compu actually compute the importance scores, and we will see that our initial formulation is broken, so we will then later fix it. But for now, we will, we will just come up with the initial formulation, and this is called the flow formulation for the page rank algorithm. So here is the idea. The idea is that we think of links on a web graph as votes. Right? So the idea is that a page or a node in a graph is as important as the number of links it has. Of course, the first question is, what kind of links are we talking about? Are we talking about in-links? Are we talking about outgoing links? For example, we will look at in-links. In-links, because in-links are kind of harder to fake than out-links. It's very easy to have a page with lots of out-links. It's harder to have a page that lots of other pages on the web point to. So that's the first question. The second thing is that it's not enough just to consider in-links, but we also have to consider where this link is coming from. So for example, uh, a link from a given web page, maybe from uh, stanford.edu, is more important than a link from some other web page that only receives very few uh, in-links. Right? So the idea is that not all in-links are equal. Kind of links coming from important pages are worth more. And here, here is basically the idea. The idea is that uh, an importance of a page is, is the, in some sense, depends on the importances of other pages that point to it. So we kind of, we have this recursive definition where importance of your given page depends on the importances of the others, and this importance then kind of gets passed on further through the graph. So this is the first idea. And just to give you how an intuition, how page rank scores of a graph look like, here in this slide, I'm showing you uh, a, small, a small graph um, with a set of directed edges. And here in this graph, uh, the size of the nodes is proportional to its page rank scores. And here I normalize the page rank scores so that they sum to uh, 100. And what do we see is the following. We see, for example, that, that node B has a very high page rank score. The reason why it has high page rank score is because it has lots of, lots of other pages point to it. For example, node C also has a relatively high page rank score, even though it receives only a single incoming link. Um, the reason why C has a high page rank score is because this very important node B is pointing to it. And then, for example, you can see that these very small um, uh, dark red uh, links uh, nodes have uh, relatively small page rank scores. For example, the page rank score of node D is higher than the page rank of node A because uh, uh, D points to A. For example, we see that the node E has kind of intermediate page rank score and E points to B and so on. Right? So the results we get from page rank are kind of intuitive, and they correspond to our intuitive notion of how important is a, node, is a node in a graph. So now, what we will look at is how do we compute this kind of scores or importances of nodes in the graph. So the idea is the following. The idea is that we will come up with a simple recursive formulation where we, sh where we sh think of each link as a vote, and we think of the importance of a given vote to be proportional to the importance of the source web page that is casting this vote or that is creating a link to the destination. So the way we think about this is the following. Let's think that we have a page j with an importance r sub j. And for this, let this importance be just some number. And think that, M, that the page j has n outgoing links. Right? So then the way we will do, say is that now this importance rj of page j basically gets split on all of its outgoing links um, evenly. So the, each link gets r sub j divided by n votes or amount of importance to spread to the target. So, so now this is how the importance gets from j to the pages it points to. And in a similar way, we can define the, the importance of j as the sum of the votes that it receives on its in-links. So if we look at the simple uh, graph here um, at the bottom, the idea is that the importance r sub j of web page j is simply the importance of page i, the green page, divided by 3, because uh, page i has 3 outlinks, plus importance of page k divided by 4, why by 4? Because page k has four outlinks, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is how we compute the, the score of, uh, of page j. 
And now that we have the score of page j, this score further gets propagated outside of j along the three outgoing links. So each of these links gets the importance of, of node j divided by 3. And this is basically all that is to this formulation, is every node collects the importances of the pages that point to it, up the, uh, has its own importance, and then kind of propagates it uh, through, through their neighbors. So the idea is that basically these votes flow through the, through the network. So that's why this is called a flow formulation or a flow model of pagering. And just to give you an idea how this would work out, here is a very small um, web graph, you know, from prehistoric times when the web only contained uh, three websites, uh, A, M, and Y. And imagine that this is the structure, right? So Y has a self-link and then points to A, A points, uh, points to M, M points backwards, and so on. And our initial idea, as we said before, is the vote is, is uh, from an important page is worth more. So a page is more important if it's pointed to by other important pages. So as I, as I kind of I, uh, hinted on the previous slide, we will assign an importance score R to a page J, and we will call this importance score rank. So this is where the page rank uh, terminology comes from. So we, we call this importance to be rank. And now the, our formula that we have for computing page rank is very simple. We simply do say that the importance score of page j is simply the sum of all the other pages i that point to it, importance of that page i divided by the out degree of the page, right? So now what we can do is basically this means that for every node in the network we obtain a separate equation. So for example, the importance of node y in my network is simply the importance of y divided by 2 plus importance of a divided by 2. So why is that? Because y has two outgoing links. One link point, points to itself, so it's y divided by 2. And then similarly node a has two outgoing links, so we take our a and divide it by 2. For example, if you say what is the importance of node m, importance of node m is importance of node a divided by 2 Again, y divided by 2 because node A has two outgoing links and half of, the, half of its importance goes to A and half of its importance uh, goes, goes to Y, as we saw here, right? So now it almost seems like we are done, right? We have this set of equations that we would like to solve, right? We have three equations, three unknowns, no constraints, and we want to solve this. The problem is that this has no unique solution. Um, the reason is that uh, the, the system is under constraint. So basically all solutions uh, will, will be, we can find an infinite set of solutions to this set of equations and all, what these solutions will have in common, they will be equivalent up to the scaling factor. So we need, we need an additional constraint. So the constraint we will add to our system is to say that our page rank scores have to sum to 1. So R, Ry, Ra plus Rm has to be equal to 1. So now with this additional equation, we can basically have now three unknowns, four equations. We can go solve this. For this small graph, we can go solve this by hand. And we would come up with the, with the, with the solution, which are our initial page, page rank scores, right? So for example, uh, y has a score of 5 over 2, a has a score of uh, 5 over 2, and then m has a score of 1 fifth. Right? So it seems like as that we are done, right? So we could use any kind of um, linear system equation solving method, for example, Gaussian elimination, um, um, and be able to compute the importances of nodes in the graph. Um, you know, this approach would work well for very small graphs, but it won't, it wouldn't, it won't work for a, for a size of the web graph. So basically for a graph where we have a billion web pages, because it would mean that we have a billion uh, of equations, a system of billion of equations that we would want to solve. So we need a different formulation. 